She mad, she live on the south side. She living on the south side, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to give away too much. <laughs> Not too long ago, Yeshua Okafor was working as an electrician's apprentice to fund his music career. He released one full album in 2019 and released some singles. While he's never stopped writing, he did take a break from releasing new music. When he went back to work after COVID-19 lockdown restrictions were eased, he says it just wasn't the same. I had a conversation with my boss and uh, he was like, yo, look, I do this job because I love it. I built this company because I love what we're doing here. And I can tell you not loving what you're doing here. So what is it you want to do? I hesitated to answer the question. I knew since I was 10 years old, all I wanted to do was rap, but like, the realism in me said that that wasn't likely because I don't know anybody that's done that. So whenever he was like, what is it you really want to do? I just reverted back to like, well, I want to do music, but and he was like, okay, stop with the butt. <laughs> you know, like if that's what you want to do, just do it. So he's done just that. Okafor left his apprenticeship in November and is now doing music full time. The 21-year-old is living in Halifax, but grew up in Cornwall, PEI. He released his new single, Demon at My Toes, earlier this month. He also released it under a new moniker. He used to go by the name Schwazi. Now, he's Fifi3. Fifi is his middle name, and 3 is his favorite number. He says his new name feels more professional. Part of it was um, wanting to make it more real. Because, like, Schwazi for me was just kind of like a fun nickname my friends gave me. And, like, it was a joke name. And so, like, subconsciously, I took this joke element to it, even though I wanted to take it seriously. Now taking his craft more seriously, Okafor plans on releasing one new song each month this year. For now, he says he's focused on growing as an artist, working on his sound, and collaborating with other artists. I have these concepts. I basically, like, I wrote out quite extensively two concept albums, but, like, I only detailed the concept of it, and then I, I planned on backtracking. I started, so I, and I started on that, and I'm like, shit, man, I am not the artist I want to be. I'm not the artist that I think I'll be when I really want to, when I'll be able to execute these. The beat for Okafor's new single was produced by Will McDougall, aka Doogie Mac, a 19 year old producer from Stratford, PEI. His studio is in his mom's basement. When you walk downstairs, the first thing you notice is the room is purple. That's from the purple light setup, he says, to set the mood. There's a keyboard on his desk and two guitars leaning against the wall. He has a laptop, a mixer, and other professional equipment set up on his desk. You can tell he takes his work seriously. McDougall started producing music when he was 14. He's worked with Okafor for a few years, and McDougal says they've developed a strong chemistry. Through music producing, I've met a lot of artists that I've been able to, you know, build relationships with, and Yesh was one of them. Yesh and I worked, like, probably seven or eight times, like, at his place. He came over a few times, I think, and then, uh, so it was, like, a pretty good relationship. And then we just stayed in touch, and he ended up moving away to Halifax, like, maybe a year and a half ago, I think it is now. And so we've just stayed in touch. I've been sending him music, like anything that I make, and I just like think I can hear him on it, and I know that he would like it, I'll send it his way. McDougall is planning on moving to Halifax later this year. He and Okafor plan to be roommates. The two have plenty in the works, and in Okafor's words, are just getting started. Noah McNeil, Holland College Journalism and Communications.